She's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just making sure. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Hi. Mr. Larmer. <laughs> I saw who joined. Thought you retired. Okay. This will be short and sweet um, because there is no legislation at this moment. There had only been one piece of legislation proposed and it was pulled back. So um, the meeting tonight will truly just be a council meeting, but council really has no uh, legislative action to take tonight. So what we'll do is we'll do um, the approval of the minutes. Dave, if you could offer that, and I'll second. Okay. Just shake your head yes if you heard that. <laughs> Dave. I think he's frozen. Dave, he's you're frozen. muted. Now he's frozen too. I got it. We're good. It, is your real name Ilsa? Okay. The only people who know frozen would know what that meant. Okay, then we're going to go through all of the, the mayor leads the meeting. So we just sit there and listen um, through all of the um, correspondence, the report, the committee reports, the department reports. Um, and in here also will be the proclamation for Mr. Menhart. Those of you who have known Mr. Menhart, it's been forever and a day. His son actually might go graduated with Gregory. That tells you how old they are. Well, then the last thing will be um, an executive session. Uh, Mr. Vinny, if you'll make that motion. There is, did you receive, you've got to read it exactly as Mark presented it. Do you have that in hand? Actually at my fingertips. Okay. Or thereabouts. Yep. Yep, and Jeff, you'll be second. And then okay. for the big German. So what we'll do is we will leave this meeting. You must log all the way out. Log in into the one that Mr. Garver set up. Um, we will text the mayor when it's um, his turn to join us. And then once we're done with the executive session, you log out of the Garver set up. We come back in, Kyle will have this one left up. You'll come back in and dial into this one. And then we'll do the adjournment, which will be Jessica with Davis the second. Okay. Okay. The only other thing I want to mention is um, we need to set up the, the finance committee and finalize those dates. We're a little behind. We should have already been after the first, already have had one meeting with the department heads. We haven't done that yet. Um, is Mr. Veras on? He's back from his vacation, I assume. Yeah, he's there. We originally talked about giving a status of 2020 on the 22nd. The only thing is the 22nd is actually a council meeting. Um, that doesn't always leave us enough time to ask questions. Unless we want to do the budget meeting at six. And then do council at seven, depending on how much legislation. I don't know what everybody's feeling is about that. I'm fine with it. I'm free on every Thursday, any any time starting from five o'clock, so. Whatever is good for everyone else, um, even Jeff, whatever their schedules allow, and John, of course. Now Thursdays work. Okay. Yeah, Thursdays work, and pretty much done with the amendment for the twenty second. So, and I just wrapped up the capital plan, five year capital plan update meetings with all of the department heads. So, I can probably send that out beforehand, so you guys can take a look at each. All right, well, the budget for the 22nd meeting will just be the status of where we're at at 2020. Well, I also need an amendment, so. Okay. 
we're we're getting more we're getting more money in yeah we're getting more money in from uh, house bill 461 and so i need to appropriate for that and there's a few other small items i'll do a memo explaining each right so how about if we set up if you have an hour will that be enough mr barrows to discuss the issue okay as long as i get you the information beforehand Okay, right now, everybody mark your calendar for the 22nd. That'll be the status of 2020. Then on the 29th, um, Mr. Ferris and I had already discussed this. That's when we'll do the five-year plan. Um, Mayor will need the department heads in there, obviously, to answer any questions we may have, because each department head will talk about their situation. We could start that one at six also. It's a Thursday. And then the proposed uh, budget um, we had talked about, and is this still good, Mr. Uh, Barris, for the 5th of November? Yes. Okay. And guess what time we'll start that one? Six. Six o'clock. Yeah, okay. That'll work. And then, so other than the 22nd, for the five year plan and the proposed 2021 plan on two hours. That gives us time to talk to everybody like we've done in the past where the department heads can present. We can ask the questions. Um, Mr. Barris gives us the information in advance, so we have a little bit of an idea. You know, we'll do it just like we've done in the past. Then our hope is, um, and our goal is to have the first reading on the 19th of November. Um, we have two options, and I'd rather go with the full budget where we do one, two, three. So we do it on the 19th of November. Thanksgiving will be canceling the council meeting in November. And then maybe we could do second and third in December because Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, it has to be passed before the end of December, correct? Correct. Correct. Or have a temporary and then you have to pass the final by March 31st. I know, but I don't. We got away from that. You know, yeah. we only do that on temporary. That's just a pistol. And it's our responsibility. So I've always thought once we started having the official one done before the end of the year, we've actually performed our position. So any questions, if you have any, something pops up that you can't attend, it will be virtual. So if you're like Mr. Veras and back at the beach, yeah. you can still attend. And um, Kyle will set these things up. So, so you're, any you're, questions? You're proposing a meeting, a regular council meeting on the 19th of November, just so we can get one vote uh, in for uh, the new budget, one week of voting. Yes, because, okay. Yes, because that gives us the ni- the fifth to talk about it, and What's, we could do first reading on the twelfth. Yeah. If if there's no questions, I just hate to push it. That we're just sure. going to say yes to everything. Okay. Because that's never been. Well, so just to uh, update that, you. There's nothing earth earth shattering coming up for 21. So I think after the 5th, you might be comfortable um, placing it on the 12th, the regular council well, meeting. We're going to do, we may do first reading, but then pencil in either, you guys make a choice, either the 19th or the 3rd, because I really would like this read three separate times for the residents to have the ability to provide. So you tell me. Um, well, why can't why can't first reading be the twelfth? Pardon me. Why can't first reading be the twelfth? I'm saying first reading the twelfth, but then we're we still get one more meeting second, done. First second, yeah. and then the third would be December tenth. Yeah, we're, we're going to do it on three three separate meetings. No, I get it. So, eleven, twelve, and then the two in December. We don't have two in December. Oh, you Christmas don't? Eve is no. Okay. There's the second Thursday in December is Christmas Eve. I don't think Santa Claus wants us in a meeting. All right. Well, uh, I don't want to be 
I'm going to be standing at my fireplace. So, so, so I'll tell you what, by Monday, send me a note if you would like to do November 19th for the second reading or December 3rd. That's your choice. You guys oh. tell me, we'll go with whichever one. And Mr. Varis, you get to tell me too, because obviously you're part of that as well as the mayor and the department heads. Well, you just tell me the first reading will be the 12th, right? That's our target unless we have a lot of questions. Okay. Okay. So then the second reading will either be the 19th or the 3rd of December. And then the third reading would be on the 10th of December. Okay. Unless things still have questions, and then we're going to have to go the 17th. We will not do it on Christmas Eve. It's not going to be a lot go of questions. We can go the following Thursday, which is New Year's, and I'll go to New York City for the dropping of the ball. <laughs> Any questions? So let me know by Monday. Check your schedules, check your calendars. I know with the holidays, it's weird to say with the holidays coming up, you hmm. may have plans um, if there's less than 10 people in the room. That's the scary part, especially since if you all saw the news today, we got a lot of red counties, red and orange. With that being said, I turn it over to the mayor so we can start the meeting meeting. Uh, just one item before we get started, Mrs. Tully. I'm going to move the proclamation up to under the approval of minutes. Um, it's under currently yes. under my report, but I think I think we normally do it under approval of minutes. But I think Amanda and I Amanda and I talked about that a little earlier, so I'm going to move it up there just so you know. Okay, I figured we would do that since okay. we traditionally have had them early, so whoever is being honored doesn't have to stay for the whole meeting. Right. Although Mr. Menhart should know about the whole meeting and just stay he's used to it okay all yours all right thank you and welcome to the october 8th city council meeting it is 7 32 p.m will miss traska please call the roll miss brand here mr finley here mr garvis here miss telly here and Mr. Ventura. Here. Thank you. Next up, we will do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag to the of the United States of America. States of America. And to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one, nation, one nation, under God, under indivisible, indivisible, and with liberty and justice liberty for all. Okay, next on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of September 24th, 2020. I move to approve the minutes of the September 24th, 2020 meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, moving right along, I will uh, offer a proclamation this evening. Uh, this is from the office of the mayor, whereas Mike Menhard has announced his plan to resign on September 30th, 2020, and is being honored by friends and coworkers who are deeply appreciative of his many contributions to the community throughout the years. Whereas Mike has served this community as a councilman, served on the Charter Review Commission, Board of Directors of the Northfield Center Township Macedonia JED, two separate terms on the Civil Service Commission, and served on the Community Reinvestment Housing Council. And whereas the performance of Mike's duties and his willingness to accept responsibilities and form good working relationship with others has established him as a dedicated individual. And whereas Mike enjoys fishing, boating and cruising and spending time with his wife and grandchildren. And whereas we extend to Mike, his wife, Cindy, AKA Cinderella and his entire family, our best wishes for health and happiness in the future. Now, therefore, I, Nick Molnar, Mayor of the City of Macedonia, Ohio, have hereunto set my hand this 8th day of October in the year of our Lord, 2020, to hereby proclaim this day as Mike Menhart Day. Uh, for those of you that don't know Mike Menhart, he has had a lot of service in our community, is very well respected, and uh, I'm, I'm a little saddened to see him resign from the board, but I also understand that you know, as time goes on, you want to move on, and um, I wish him the best in anything he does in the future.
All right, next up we have public comments. Ms. Trasco, is there any public comments? Uh, no, we do not have any public comments. Next on the agenda is pending or new legislation, which we have none. Are there any other motions or legislative actions? Hearing none, do we have any correspondence from the clerk? Uh, no, I have none. Okay, then I'll go into the mayor's report. Uh, the mayor's core payments for the month of September are $9,758.50. The hot topic in this month that we always like to start and talk about is leaf pickup, which will begin October 26th. I'm sure Mr. Nadevange will uh, give some more details than that, but I want to at least put it out there that leaf pickup will begin as we go through this every year, we do about three passes, and I want everyone to make understand that what you put in those piles is very important. Uh, it's only leaves, no branches, bricks, stones, anything of that nature, because those tend to destroy our machines, and we would appreciate it if you just put the leaves out there. Uh, in my community focus interview this week, I did remind folks, too, that if you have branches, we do not pick those up. You can put them into your trash as long as they're bundled, and they're smaller than four-foot bundles, four-foot long bundles. Our community room repairs have begun. Uh, if you didn't hear me say it in the past, we had a major flood down there on Labor Day. Uh, we've gotten everything cleaned up and now we're starting to put it back together. Uh, hopefully one day if the world ever opens back up again, we'll be able to utilize that room. But I can tell you that uh, what we're putting back in there with the insurance money that we're getting, everyone will be very proud of. It's gonna be a very nice room. And additionally, I wanna thank Steve Plata, our building uh, supervisor, because he was able to get them to put tile in there this time so that if we do unfortunately have a flood again, the tile does not need to be ripped out. The flooring that was in there had to be ripped out, removed, and, and it was just unfortunate. So uh, what we're putting back in there is a higher quality material. It's gonna look a lot nicer, it's gonna last longer, and I'm pretty excited to have that completed. Halloween, uh, trick or treat is on October 31st from six to eight. Uh, if you want to give out candy to children, put on your porch light. If you do not, we ask you to turn your porch light off. If you want your children to go, we ask you to uh, follow the social distancing requirements. We do have everything up on our website for all the requirements from uh, the state and what you should and shouldn't do. So I would encourage you to visit our website, macedonia.oh.us, and take a look at that if you do plan to go trick-or-treating so that you know the protocols that are in place. And finally, for me, I just want to encourage everyone to get the facts on issue 20. This is a renewal. Uh, this levy has been in place since 1980. It costs around a hundred thousand dollar home. It's three dollars a month. So if you're if you're questioning what what the levy is and what it's for, it's for our operating. Uh, a lot of those dollars go to police, fire, and service. Uh, if this thing fails, unfortunately, we're going to have to lay off two police, two fire, and two service workers. Uh, that's the reality of, of how badly we need those dollars to function and keep our safety forces strong, which is very important, especially now today. Uh, if there's any questions about that, I would encourage you to ask. We have the information on our website again, macedonia.oh.us. Um, there's been some other information that's been put out about it. And again, the good clean information is gonna come from us and City Hall. So if you have questions about that, please consult our website. Or if you have questions beyond that, I'm willing to answer those. Our, our finance director, Mr. John Barris, will answer those as well. So uh, if you have those, questions about it, please ask. And also put the phones down, please don't drive distracted. That concludes my report. Next I'll move into committee reports. Um, I have nothing to add with regards to the Parks and Rec Committee. We haven't had a meeting since our last council meeting, but uh, I, I did forget in the last council meeting to, to uh, extend appreciation to the Parks Department or the Service Department that takes care of the park. Uh, the parks were a big part of everyone's summer this year because everybody needed some place to go, some place to go out. Um, I spent more time at Longwood this year. There were people there all day, every day, enjoying fishing, enjoying um, the baseball, enjoying the fields, enjoying the playgrounds. Uh, the lawns were always mowed. Um, and I also want to, you know, say a big thank you to whoever is taking care of the the uh, trails. Um, they've been working very hard on them the last few years. I know the Parks and Rec Commission has been pushing to do more with the trails, and it's it's uh, it's a delight. Every time I go there, I was just there this evening. There's always people on the trails. 
I asked John about uh, how things fared after that big rainstorm on uh, Labor Day. He said there was very minimal washout, so they've really got a handle on keeping those uh, trails nice and dry. Um, we look forward to, there's gonna be some signage coming up and, and I think people are gonna be enjoying Longwood Park and Sugarbush Park all the way through the, uh, through, through the fall and maybe into the winter as we still strive to find things to do. So I just want to, you know, extend a thank you. And I know that the parks, uh, the service parks uh, were shorthanded this year, but they still managed to keep everything moving, keep everything done, keep keep the parks looking and working great. So uh, kudos to you guys. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Parks Commission appreciates it too. That's all for my report. Thanks. And if I may add to that, Ms. Brandt, uh, Director Nadevange and our supervisor, Mr. Zernak, have worked very hard in that park. Obviously, the service workers are doing all the labor there, and we're very appreciative of that because the parks, I think, are looking very, very good, and they've put a lot of time and effort into that. So uh, I, I'm very thankful that you brought that up and recognize their, their efforts in the park. So thank you. Any other committee reports? Hearing none, we'll go into department reports. We will start with Chief Ripperly. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first, I'd like to recognize personally Mike Menhart. I've spent a lot of time with the city. Mike has always been involved uh, in all of his areas. He's always given 100% effort and has always supported the fire department. We certainly appreciate that and we all wish him good luck and a bright future in his retirement. Um, as a reminder, uh, this week is in fact fire prevention week. Uh, so do your part. Um, we need to live fire safe. We're spending more time at home these days. So we are a little more at risk at home normally than we would normally be. And also a reminder, it is fall. The city does pick up your leaves. Please do not burn them. Um, we will come out as illegal in the city of Macedonia to burn your leaves. And last but not least, I would like to congratulate our law director and tell him how well I like his room with his fire helmets. They present very nice, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mark. End of report, Mayor. Thank you, Chief. Chief Golden. Thank you, Mayor. I'd also like to thank Mike Menhart for all his years of dedication to the city. Uh, it's greatly appreciated, and, and we will miss him. Uh, I don't have any report, Mayor. Thank you. Director Collins. Uh, I have no report, Mayor. Thank you. Director Veras. Thank you, Mayor. In the immediately near future, the filing deadline for Macedonia tax refund program will be upon us. The deadline is October 15th. Please get your refund applications in by the deadline so we can process your refund. End of my report, Mayor. Thank you. Director Chaddock. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as far as we have going on in Parks and Recreation, we got a lot of great activity coming up. Uh, we have, I uh, wanted to highlight uh, what Council Member Brandt had mentioned earlier, October 21st will be our Parks and Rec Commission meeting. There'll be a virtual meeting that will get connected. Um, October 24th will be our Halloween event that we will have at Longwood Park and we will have at the Camp Shack, we'll have a drive-through photo op and pass out candy to the kids have an opportunity for everyone to just get out for a minute and uh, experience a little bit of Halloween before we get to October 31st. October 26th through 30th here at the uh, rec center, we will have a flooring project going on. We will have some signage up in the facility to indicate which area will be shut down for the particular day. That will go out a couple weeks prior so everybody is aware. We're going to have just certain sections of the rec center uh, shut down each different day for the flooring replacement, mainly that is going on upstairs. Um, the hot tub, we have gotten all of our leak detection completed and we are currently obtaining quotes from uh, pool vendors uh, as far as getting the repair work completed. So we should have those uh, within about the next week and a half. And uh, I wanted to announce the membership sale that we currently have going on this week. Uh, we have $20 off, I'm sorry, $20 for a monthly membership or 20% off an annual membership. That sale ends tomorrow at 8 p.m. So I highly encourage everyone to take advantage of that. If they're able to, 
we've been uh, getting a great turnout here at the rec center we've sold 15 annual memberships as well as 18 monthly memberships so it's been an exciting week for us by uh, getting some members in that includes both some renewals and uh, some additional members we've brought in uh, to the center we're pretty excited about that and i wanted to update from the last uh, time we had met and talked about uh, Barrio coming in as a truck for us. Barrio came in a couple Fridays ago and had a great day. In fact, they stayed for an extra hour because they were so busy. So we want to thank them for their hospitality and staying around so, so our citizens of Macedonia could stay and uh, get food for dinner that night. So greatly appreciative to them. It was a great evening. Lots of good feedback about the food truck. And we're definitely uh, looking forward to the future of food truck events here uh, with the city. Uh, and that'll end my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chaddock. Uh, I have a Mr. Chaddock. Isn't there a contest going on for Halloween? Oh my goodness gracious! Thank you for reminding me of that. So many things on my list here. I forgot to bring that up. Those are my marbles this evening. Uh, we have a haunted yard contest going on. So if you are uh, in in the in the excitement of Halloween and decorating your yard please send us a picture. You can uh, get information on our website. Uh, we have also information out on our social media sites. Uh, send us a picture, you'll be put into a contest and the winner of the contest uh, will receive an annual membership, a free annual membership to the rec center. That'll be a one year membership for them. And the uh, deadline for that is October 17th. So please get your pictures in to us and we will have some surprise judges that we will release the information on a little bit later. Thank you. All right, next up is human resources, Mrs. Smith. Thank you, Mayor. I have no report for the group. Thank you. Director Nadevanj. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you and Councilwoman Brandt for the kind words regarding the parks. Uh, yes, they, they've done a great job this year. Um, this administration and council has taken pride in these parks. It's a great amenity to have and try to exploit that the best that we can. Our Parks and Rec Committee has requested three things uh, for us to make improvements in the park. And I'm happy to say their wishes are gonna be granted this fall. We will be planting a tree line along 82 in front of the uh, the older home days field over by the manor house. Uh, that's gonna start, we're gonna put the tree line in over there starting, uh, should be this month. We have a contractor lined up already for that. But looking forward to seeing those go in and also take advantage of everyone who's been out this year to under the, these conditions to use our park we are installing six dog waste stations around longwood park and at sugarbush park uh we're going to place these in areas of, going into each of the trails by the park or by the ball fields where people come and bring their furry friends there to enjoy our park grounds and uh, looking forward to having those installed and lastly we are replacing all of our rubbish containers around the parks these are going to have lids to keep our friendly wildlife friends in the park out of them so we can uh, empty them out easier and not have to vacate them every time we go to do the rubbish. So i uh, looking forward to having those in there as well. So help uh, another way of address uh, cleaning up the park and uh, spiffing it up a bit. So looking forward to having all those in. As the mayor mentioned, uh, October 26th is our leaf collection start date. Uh, we generally start this just as a go around, but the way the leaves are starting to turn right now, this may come earlier, but let's hope not. Fingers are crossed. Um, do not place your leaves in the street, please. Leave them on the edge of the, uh, your lawn. Do not place them around fire hydrants, light poles, mailboxes, uh, signs of any kind. These are automated machines, so this allow our equipment to be able to work and collect in a fast manner. And um, also be sure we only reach about 10, 10 feet out so as close as the roads as you can get them we would greatly appreciate it to help our process uh, be expedited we were going to run in four zones this year as we did last year uh, they will be highlighted on a map that will be on our website macedonia.oh.us and uh, you'll be able to follow along to see uh, where we are at that time and Matt, that's all i have thank you thank you mr gelati Thank you, Mayor. Uh, two items uh, for the group. Uh, one, road paving is now complete on uh, Navajo, Broadmoor, Broad Ledge, and Ledge View roads. Uh, so that's a good thing. Number two, uh, Guadalupe Detention Pond. The uh, bid opening for the construction contract is uh, now scheduled for October 23. And uh, thank you to Mark Gadetti for all of his work uh, to 
uh, he's now obtained uh, the property uh, for the city. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gelati. And Mrs. Tully, did you hear that? That's a big deal for us. I know we've talked about that for, for many, many years. Guadalupe is moving forward finally. Yep, the, the only concern I have is we go into bat season again. Are we going to be able to start the work once we hit November? And yeah, they I are. Say, every day I see the bats. So they're out and about eating all those bugs, eat 3,000 bugs. So we love them. But I know we had to take the trees down early because of the bat season. So I don't know how that impacts it. Well, from my understanding, the trees yeah. that need to be removed have been removed. Joe, did you? Yeah, that's correct. That's what I was going to say. Uh, the uh, the bats should have Indiana bat. Obviously, you're talking about uh, environmental concern should have no effect on us uh, because the trees uh, that were affected have already been removed. Well, they've been taken down. They haven't been removed. Yeah, they only need to be fallen. Yeah, the, yeah. So will that start in November or in October? I mean, it's great well, we got the property. It's great we got the blessing. It's great we did the contract. But when do we tell these people they'll see some work? Plus, well, first we need to identify the contractor, uh, hire the contractor, then we can establish a construction schedule with that contractor. Okay, and when we have that date, can we send um, information out to all the residents on Berkshire and Smoke Rise? Yeah, we, we certainly, as our usual protocol, we would certainly notify all property owners uh, anywhere near the project uh, as to what was going on, so. Yeah, and I only say from Berkshire to Smoke Rise because I know they were doing that easement up at the top, plus the Berkshire down at the bottom, we'll see, it's people, that way people will see the action, they'll know what's going on. Oh Especially yeah. We, right, because they may see some things going on and they'll have no clue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, uh -huh. as uh, the mayor knows, we, we usually wind up notifying too many people as opposed to not enough. Uh, yeah. We cover no, the whole neighborhood. And you could also personally call Jean so he can come over and watch. I think I will. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Thank you. We, we also take that a step further. A lot of times we send it out in the mail and we hand deliver it with the contractor. So we're we're making sure that people understand the project, just like with the road program, like when they have to do a butt joint onto a driveway, we always send out a picture of it and explanation of how that works. And we try to hit it at least twice because Mr. Gelati can attest that sometimes uh, they say they didn't receive it, so a lot of times we send it twice just to make sure they understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. The, only thing is if they, the more they know, the less they'll call. That's exactly right. Isn't yeah. that a commercial with the rainbow? The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Gelati. Thank you. Last up, Director Gadetti. Thank you, Mayor. Um, yes, we're going to have a uh, piece of legislation, just to give council a heads up, uh, that corresponds to the signed ordinance revisions that council previously made. Uh, this specific ordinance is going to pertain just to the definition section, and it's actually in a separate chapter of the revised code. Um, our ever vigilant city planner noticed that, and I, I believe this has already gone through the planning commission and uh, Mr. Finley was involved in that process. Um, so we're gonna, we're just fine tuning it right now and that's gonna be up for the next meeting. And aside from that, I just like to thank the diocese and the new Bishop, I think signing over this property to the city for the Guadalupe project was probably amongst the uh, first actions that he took. So we thank them for expediting it at the end here. Thank you. And next up, we have unfinished business. Hearing none, any new business? Um, I, uh, got, here. I, I have something. I don't know who else spoke. I don't want to interrupt. Let them go first. Okay. Um, I've been asked to let everyone know that you can watch the Nordonia Hills varsity football team's home playoff game live. Uh, tomorrow evening on NordoniaHills.News Facebook page or on YouTube. Uh, the kickoff is at 7 p.m. and let's wish them luck. 
And thank you for that. And also, I, I've been able to, you can broadcast that on your TV if you're a little bit tech savvy. It's not that difficult, but I, I enjoy watching our, our Nordonia Knights play on Friday nights. And uh, if you don't already know this, Mr. Chaddock, our, our Parks and Recreation Director, is also one of the coaches. So we're very proud to have that involvement with the school, and we wish them the best of luck. I've watched it through the old Cable 9. I can never remember what Cable 9 is called anymore. So Unity Focus. <laughs> I know Mr. Garvis knows right away. Is your daughter going to be there? No, um, she no. got to go last week. She was she cheered tonight. We played Bedford, and we won. I think it was thirty to six for the freshmen. Cool. Yep. Cool. Okay. The only new business I have is um, I got knocked off during the um, committee reports. I just real quick want to let the public know that we are taking a look and going to start taking a look at the 2021 budget um, in the hopes to have it passed and adopted before the end of the year. So on the 22nd at 6 p.m. prior to our council meeting, uh, Mr. Beers will be providing to the city a state of the city as far as the budget is concerned for what's been spent, what was planned in 2020. Then on the 29th and um, our intent on the 29th, we will go into um, just a budget meeting at 6 p.m. where we're going to have the council members as well as department heads and the mayor and Mr. Pierce to talk about the five-year plan. Remember, we have two sections to a budget. We have the day-to-day -day operating and we have the uh, capital plan. So the five-year capital plan. Our goal is to have first reading on the 12th of the uh, and then a second reading, the date is to be determined. And our goal overall is to target to have third reading and adoption um, of the budget by December 10th and our December 10th meeting. Remembering the factor that during this time, here we come, we, we will not have a November meeting on the traditional November it's Thanksgiving day this year. And the second meeting in December is um, Christmas Eve. So if you have any questions about the budget or want to hear what's going on, it will be just like these kind of meetings and handled via the teleconference and you will be able to dial in and listen and then send any of your questions or concerns to us as council. Thank you. Thank you. Any other new business? Here, Mayor, I'd like to. Uh... Go ahead, Vinny. That is, that is the last thing on the agenda right this minute, right? Correct. Okay, I would like to make a motion to enter into executive session pursuant to RC 121.22 G1 to discuss the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, compensation of the investigation, uh, complaints concerning a public employee or official. Second. Roll call, please. Ms. Brandt? Yes. Mr. Finley? Yes. Mr. Garvis? Yes. Ms. Tully? Is she frozen? Yeah, she's, she's frozen. got the max headroom going on there. <laughs> she may have been disconnected. I know, that's what she said she got. Uh-oh, did she get kicked out? I don't see her in the participant list. I don't do we get everybody else though, Amanda? Vinny. I except for Vinny. Do you want me to just skip Jan for now? I don't think we have a choice. Okay. You can, All right. Yes. And then Mr. Ventura. Yes. Okay. Uh you guys will adjourn into executive session and then we will come out and have an adjournment from when well, I'm sorry, you will not adjourn. You will go into executive session and then come out to adjourn. So we are complete for this evening up until the adjournment. Thank you.
Thank you, Kyle. Is everybody back? I'm here. Yeah, uh, looks like council is all present. So in which case I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? Thank you, we are adjourned. Have a good evening. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Stay healthy. Yep. Good night, everyone.